lot of people write to me asking, um, what's the solution to all this, to all the shit, to the slavery and the decimation of the wildlife and the destruction of the environment and turning everything that's living into that which is dead, turning trees into concrete. Like, what's the solution? People are looking for like some sort of semi-socialist, quarter capitalist, 80% environmentalist that we just need to organize this into that. No, 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 no. You're all missing the total point of what I'm trying to say. The solution is nature. The chaos, the fractals of chaos spinning naturally with birds and trees and apes on the ground and rivers flowing and salmon going back up to spawn. There's no organized solution. All this you see around us, it needs to end. And just by either through direct collapse, by collapse because it's, it's ridiculous anyway, it's going to collapse. And I think us as revolutionaries just have to kind of try and help it collapse. There is no solution to this. This is a satanic course that man has gone on using technology and oppression of weaker people. The solution, guys, is just to return back to nature. And there is like, there isn't any transition that we need to implement using mathematicians or politicians or social workers to say, take us from this to that. It just needs to smash. And then you'll see eventually after all the chaos, it will settle down into indigenous cultures living in harmony with nature. We had hundreds of thousands of them all around the world, but this concrete civilization you see behind me killed them all, raped their women and sliced the throats of their shamans. So the solution, ladies and gentlemen, is no solution. Get that into your noggin. Thank you.